So, uh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to tell y'all, man, something happened to me that's never happened to me before, man. It's never happened to be me before, man. And something I had to, I had to stop and pause and think, man. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy, bro. So I'm reading the comment section of, uh, my last video, right? Reading the comment section. And I get a comment from Chocolate City 1974, right? Chocolate City 1974 hit me like this, dog. Like, he hit me like this. He said, I agree with a lot of this. Where I think you are wrong is calling young viewers bad people. Keep in mind that history repeats itself. You can't really understand or see where you are mistaken until you do. Young people will always change because they think they know. But then one day they are in our shoes and they go, oh, now I understand what the older people meant. You do have to allow people to grow, grow up. 20 somethings are technically grown, but to 40 or 50 year olds, they are still kids. They haven't lived life yet. That sort of Understanding only comes with experience. I promise you, one day they will be the one that the younger gen will call old and tell them to just go away. How much you want to bet? Anyhow, I did enjoy this content. I remember when we had to get a newspaper to check the score and stats of the game that just took place the night before. When you can just listen to the game on the radio and enjoy it, that says a lot. That's the love of the game. Then Sports Center came out, came about, and we couldn't wait to watch it the next day. They used to cover all the teams. Now I don't bother because I understand there is an agenda there. Let's be better humans. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. When I read that, I said, "Yo, this dude completely checked me." <laughs> I can't argue with this comment. And see, this is why I love you guys, man. This is why I love your comments and, and, and going through them, man. And I'm not talking about the trolls. Like, I'm talking about the real genuine people who really care about the product, who really watch our videos, vibe with us. And sometimes they disagree on how we get down, right? I'm not, I'm not a perfect human being, right, by any means. I'm not even close to it. Right. But what I do respect is when somebody comes like this, man, I got to respect it. Now, I got to address the content of this message. Right. I agree with you. Um, I know the agenda and I understand the agenda, bro. I really do. And sometimes it's hard not to go back at these people, not to clap back at these people. Right. So I agree with you. We do have to be better humans and be an example and, you know, we want to be a positive, positive example and really show these guys like what's going on, because that's the whole point of me doing YouTube. Right. I wanted to expose all the corruption that was going on. Uh, and this is a societal corruption, guys. Like y'all got to listen. Look, I'm trying to hit y'all on a deeper level than just basketball, y'all. You know, we're going to deal with basketball and sports because that's why that's why we all here, you know, but it's a deeper issue, bro. You know, social media was created at the bottom line is, is th those who know, know, right? Social media was created by the government, you know what I'm saying, to monitor and track you, right, to get you to voluntarily give them your information. Now, this was in the early 2000s, right? This was in the early 2000s. So, obviously, they have different means of doing that now. You know what I mean? They're more advanced than they ever were. So, they're able to manipulate us, right? They're able to control how we, how we see things. When you look at the search bar, right? It's going to show all the things that they want you to see first, all the knowledge is going to be all the way down, right? The truth, this is what they do to the truth, right? They put 
all the trash in the front and you got to go digging for the truth. So we are in information warfare, right? And I'm telling y'all, I'm hitting y'all on, on a deep, deeper level. This is information warfare, right? Because when we tell them something, they're being told at the same time something else, but by more popular people. So because they're going off the popular opinion or the mainstream opinion, they assume that we're full of shit, right? They don't believe us. They don't believe us because there's a machine that's more powerful than us and able to get out more information faster than us. So social media is flooded with, uh, they created a system where social media is flooded with bad information, with lies, right? We even got fact checkers who tell lies, but that's a topic for another discussion, right? So, so the thing is, right, we, uh, we all here to give you the truth because we witnessed it. Like, we're not just, y'all, y'all got to understand, we're not just making stuff up. We were there. So when we hear an alternate ending, we're sitting there trying to figure out, nah, that, that, like, what the hell was that? That's not true. Wait a minute. And that's why you got so many older fans speaking up. Because we sat in the chairs. Some of us sat in the chairs with our fathers watching this stuff. You know what I'm saying? We have memories riding bikes and trying to hurry up and get to the house to watch these games. Right? We have memories. These are memories no one can take from us. They want to wipe us out. They want to wipe us out. You know why? Because we are your protectors. We're the ones who's going to protect the next generation. Right? When I went off on that dude, here, here was my goal. Right? And I really kind of took it light on him. But here was my goal. Right? My goal was to let him know that, look, bro, you don't, you don't, you don't disrespect somebody you don't know. Try and be more understanding, right, of what we're trying to say. We're not just complaining to complain. We're complaining for change. We want change. And if you want change, what do you have to do? You have to stand up and let your voice be heard. Yeah, you can walk out the door, but your voice ain't heard, right? Your voice is not heard. So you need to be able to explain why you walked off out the door, just like Colin Kaepernick. What was wrong with his message? He didn't speak on it. He just walked out. Nobody knew where he stood. He, he, he did not articulate and make his message clear. Right. So a lot of the people who were following him was like, yo, I'm not going to keep following this dude. And we're not hearing from him. Then we see then the next time we see him, he's taking all these deals and all this stuff. Right now. But this this the thing. Right. So I wanted to show him like, bro, as a human being. Right. If you splash, if you splash water, if you take a cup of water. Right. If you throw it in my face, that's assault. Right. If I smack you as a result of you pouring water in my face, that's also assault. Right. But to me, we're dead even. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, but the difference between the two is one hurts harder than the other. One hurts more than the other. Right. You pour water in my face, I smack you. One's going to hurt harder than the other, more than the other. Right. So, so these are the things that we need to think about. People are so hostile when they come into the comment section. It's like, bro, relax, bro. We know you got a different point of view and you want to stick up for what you believe is true. But if you do it in a respectful manner, I'll do it in a respectful manner. If you start off with disrespect, don't expect me to be nice. Where they do that at? Uh, I love this comment, bro, because he he was touching on the human element, the human element, the societal element of this whole thing. And I don't want to uh, not get the message heard or not get it across. Right. And so we understand that there's a machine and all we're trying to do is uncover that machine. You guys might think things are fine. 
But there's a lot of manipulation, right? When we see things trending, right? How do you know they're not controlling or swaying you in a certain direction, right? When they say uh, something's trending or something's number one on Twitter, how do you know they're not guiding you to a certain decision, right? You see all these ads. Companies are sharing your information and sharing your tendencies. Your tendencies are in the algorithm. You get, there's this, there's this, uh, um, echo chamber, right? Of thoughts, right? You only are watching videos that support what you think. Man, I watch positive videos and I watch negative videos. Bro, I'm watching YouTubers who hate Kobe, who hate Mike. I be watching that shit. You know why? Because I want to hear some of the arguments that they make and say, hey, do they have a point? You might say, like, like this one dude came in the comment section and he said, well, what's the point of you doing all that? And uh, if you have a, he was like, a, if you have a kitchen or, or what if, what if other people like the food and stuff like that? Because my analogy was based on um, if you go to a restaurant for 30 years and you're, you're eating there and you got loyal customers who's been going for 30 years, then why should we leave? Why don't the chef be corrected? Whether he gets fired or he leaves, why don't he leave? Why do the loyal customers who are only trying to hold the restaurant to its own standards by because because we were eating the the uh, company's recipe, right? That restaurant's recipe. They changed the recipe on us, right? We voice our displeasure with that. And, and we have a problem with the chef because the chef is going against the company standards. Right. Um, so with that said, uh, he was like, well, um, what if one person likes the uh, the um, the new recipe or what, what, what? Yeah, but bro, like. This is the, this is what you got to understand. If the rating, if the company's going to go out of business, why would they sit there and just try to please the minority? When you see the ratings are dropping in the, in the in the case of the NBA, you see the ratings are dropping right all across the board. People aren't watching. You have to come in with all these tournaments and all these gimmicks just to keep it alive, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and that's the problem. That's the problem. If it, it, you guys are wondering why we complain about certain things, why you just don't leave. Well, if your wife gains weight, you're going to give her some time to lose it, right? You're not going to just walk out the door. You would hope that she improves. Oh, well, why don't you, uh, uh, why you guys ain't stop watching already if you don't like it? Because, bro. You, you get a separation. Right now, we're separated. So your wife gained weight. You, you decide to get a separation because you already gave her a little bit of time. You decide to get separated. You say, maybe we need some time apart. Right. The next step is a divorce. That's per That's permanent, bro. We don't want to get divorced. We want the NBA to improve. We already watch part-time. We're not watching this stuff like we used to watch it. We used to run home. We used to make sure we're right in front of the TV, get our popcorn and all that stuff, watch it as a family. Now, we don't do that no more. Now we hear the NBA's on. Oh, we change it to football. We change it to air hockey. <laughs> I'm an asshole for that air hockey. We change it to something else, Right? So it's, it's like we don't want to get a divorce. We don't want to leave. We want the product to improve. That's the whole point of us criticizing it. And you know it's a weak product when the NBA players are calling it a weak product. You know it's a weak product when the Europeans are saying, man, it's tougher overseas. Bro, for a European to say that about our game, can you imagine if they, if, if 
if a European said that in the 90s, Tony Kukoc came over here talking about, man, it's, it's, it's softer over here. Bro, <laughs> like, that's what y'all, y'all don't understand because y'all don't understand that we're the standard keepers. We're keeping the standard. Um, we're keeping the standard. We're putting an end to the manipulation. Right? And to the subscriber right here, I love your comment. I'm going to try and be a little more tolerant um, because I understand what we're trying to get at. And I understand that the brainwashing, the brainwashing of our youth and the control, you know, we put out the truth. They put out 20 lies a day. You know, they're just pumping. I, I, I was literally watching Nick Wright one time when I first started doing my videos. I have a series on my channel called Hellified Cap. Right, Hellified Cap is what I came up with because I realized they were lying, lie after lie after lie. I said, dude, this dude didn't spit out 30 lies within the span of two minutes. I said, damn, to deal with all that, Sometimes my Hellified Cap, that, that stuff be like an hour long, bro. An hour and a half or, so, or an hour long. They be lying so much. I said, dude, imagine yourself being a kid and you don't protect your brain against this stuff. They assume because they're saying big numbers that they're telling people the truth. They don't check on their, on their stats. They don't check on the context. They just throw out big numbers and then the, a lot of these kids... They're like, oh, that sounds good because it supports the guy we like. But if it's a lie, does it? No, it's just making you believe that it's supporting the guy you like. But it's none of it's true. So it's not reality. It's it's social media is like. It's like walking up to a, a what you think is a person and realizing they're a cardboard cutout. And then you walk into a house and there's nothing but cardboard cutouts, fake fruit and all sorts of stuff <laughs> in the house. You're like, oh, this is not even real fruit. It looks like real fruit from far away. It's not even real fruit. Like there's not even a real person. This uh, up From far away, it looks like a real person. When you walk up on it, it's cardboard cutout. We've been played. That's what social media is. I don't even a lot of times these dudes that comment on my videos. I don't even know if they're real people. When I say user, any anytime I see users such and such and such and such, I'm like, okay, this is a this is a bot in order to control the conversation and push it towards that. That's why, I like, in one of my first videos on uh, this network, I literally said, "You're gonna stick to the topic, or you're gone. The topic of the video, or you're gone." Because I started noticing bots, right? And what they do is they attempt, we, 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 against, we against it, y'all. We against some powerful people. What they do is they'll distract you from the original conversation. And that's their job. Take them away from the conversation and take them away from the point of the video. So I wanted you guys to concentrate on that. And that's why, like, we know as content creators, we know that these a lot of these um, uh, viewers have ADHD. We know we have a certain amount of time to capture their attention. So imagine you have a society of people who have ADHD. They can't concentrate on one thing. They're quickly they lose attention quickly. So what does the media do? They capitalize on that. We live in a capitalistic society. You think they're going to tell you that they're using you for money? They're not. They're not going to tell you, oh, yeah, by the way, we're lying to you to sell this product. They're not going to. They're going to continue to pump the product. And when you get sick, you get sick. You know what I mean? You, there's been plenty of medications that they gave out that they were pumping and then when you find out you get you get a certain illness, all of a sudden, you're gone. And a lot of these companies do that. They don't care. They don't care. They're about the product. 
And so when you get people like us say, hey, you know what? No, don't don't listen to that. Listen to us. We we're not making multi-billion dollars to lie to you. We're not. We're grassroots. We're just people who got tired of the manipulation and who want to stop other people from falling off the cliff. Right? We see people falling off the cliff. And now society is so dumbed down. When you try and stop them from falling off the cliff, they fight for the people telling them to jump off the cliff. You know, um, so these things, social media is not, it's not even real life. A lot of these dudes who talk crazy, like to you, they they wouldn't say that stuff in real life to you. You know, we're living in a bubble, y'all. We are, we are living in a real life simulation. The Matrix. And so you got to appreciate comments like this. Uh, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel and taking your time out of your day to support our content. I want to thank you guys. If you're sharing this this uh, content, I want to thank you guys for sharing the content. I want to thank you guys for hitting that like button. If you haven't hit the like button. But I want to thank you guys, man. Um, because this is really about you guys for me, for me, it's really about, <coughs> uh, these societal issues and these guys at the behind the bench, uh, sports network that I, uh, that I've been doing videos with, they care too. They're passionate, right? They're passionate. They want to wake people up. They care about their childhood, their upbringing, and they want the new, the younger kids to have a good childhood as well. There's a machine that just wants to make money, destroy you, and spit you out. Just like uh, hip-hop, right? There's all these different things, and I'm not going to say the word, but all these different things on how you talk, and what you can say and what you can't say. But I see music videos, right, that are destructive, that cause a lot of death. And I have to speak in code right now. But that gets millions and millions of views. Those videos get monetized, right? You ever thought why? When you see all the death and stuff that's going on, you ever thought why? So when you guys come at us about our takes, just think about that. You ever thought about the prison system? Right? The school, the prison pipeline. You ever thought about that? Y'all, you ever thought about corporate greed? Who checks these people? A corrupt government? Who's watching over these people? (laughs) Think about it. It's checks and balances. Who's watching over these people to make sure things is done right? Or do they have handshake agreements behind the scenes? And if we call out those handshake agreements, are we bad guys? Am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? So I, I want you guys to think about something, right? When somebody lies to you, they're attempting to manipulate your reality. Right. They're attempting to move you and move you in the course of where they want you to go. Right. There's information and then there's there's intelligence and then there's counterintelligence. Intelligence is the truth. Counterintelligence is the lie. This goes into the Bible. Some of this stuff. Right. Oh, um, When the lies, what happens when the lies are perceived as truth? Right? And I want you guys to think about something before you guys go. Before I let you go. I want you guys to think about something. Who's been right? Right? 
Now, I told you guys, I did a video a while back, and I told you guys the Lakers were bad defensively. People got mad at me. They'll put it together. You're just a hater. They're not that bad. They could turn it on. They turned it on in the in the in the end season tournament. They'll turn it on. You'll see. Right? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, and, and here we are. I told you guys they were bad defensively because they don't communicate. Right? I told you about the Lakers. What did the media say? And see, this is why. This is how you could determine who's good for you and who's not good for you, right? What did the mainstream media say? They said they were championship contenders, right? They had LeBron as the MVP. Before the season started, right, Nick Wright was saying he'll take LeBron James over Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid, all up to this point, has been putting up 36 a game. And has been leading the uh, the Philadelphia 76ers. Right? Now, <laughs> Joel Embiid's been being compared to prime Shaq. That's how crazy he's playing right now. He's playing out of his mind. He was playing out of his mind before he got injured. But they were saying, Nick Wright was saying on national TV, he'll take LeBron. Over Joel Embiid. Right? The person who won the MVP award last year. For you guys who care about the MVP award. Right? What did we tell you at Behind the Bench Sports Network? We told you the team was garbage. We told you they were garbage. Right? They don't communicate on defense. They told you Austin Reeves was a was the third All Star, and they were promoting Austin Reeves. We told you Austin Reeves wasn't that that thorough, right? Oh, uh, LeBron's the MVP. How we said how Anthony Davis has been more consistent. He's been playing the best on the team. How when we tell you LeBron James is old. Right? Why are you building your team around an old man? No, he can still do it. You're just hating. Right? Then when he starts getting his ass whooped. Man, he's a year 21, man. He's 39. What do you expect? No, what do you expect? And see, so you have to you have to look at reality, right? We've been telling you the truth. If you look at all the things I just listed, what the media's been saying and what we've been saying, who's been right? Who's been right? We've been right. Across the board, we've been right. It's a landslide. It's not even close. So what does that mean? That means mainstream media was capping. Now, why would they cap so hard? To sell a product. Right? Right? When they hung that in-season tournament banner, I was labeled a hater because I did not like it. I did not like the way they were celebrating. Right? Oh, you hating? You just old school? I said, nah, bro. It, it, it. I've seen. I'm look. We're we're in the city. Uh, like we, <laughs> we're Lakers fans, bro. We done seen the greatest of the greats. And how they carried themselves in winning situations and how they carried themselves in losing situations. You don't celebrate like that. Unless you have low expectations. And we knew that from a leadership standpoint and a cultural standpoint, that was bad for our culture. We have a winning culture. When we say winning, we're talking about an NBA championship. It's championship or bust for a reason. Because what ends up happening, guys get complacent. Guys start getting fat and resting on their laurels. Right? And they start taking the season for granted. And now it's embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? Because they pretended like they won it all.
and damn near had a championship ceremony. Right? Now it's humiliating. Even if you're the hardcore, even if you're a hardcore LeBron fan, or you're a hardcore Lakers fan, you have no choice but to admit this shit is embarrassing. And I was right. We hung a banner that didn't mean anything. Oh, well, you're just hating because LeBron won the in season tournament and you didn't want him to get credit. And, um, dog, it had nothing to do with that. It's about reality, bro. It's about reality. It didn't mean anything. You didn't beat anybody. This is why you always look at who people beat. Competition. Because then when they run up into a real giant, they get smacked. Right? Real basketball fans ain't fooled. They're not fooled by that type of stuff. We knew it. Once I seen them celebrating over something that didn't mean nothing, I knew they were cooked. So I made a video about it. And everybody looked at me like I was crazy. I said, man, bro... There's a culture of losing. That's mediocrity. Who's been right? Behind the Bench Sports Network's been right, y'all. We've been right across the board. Josh Hart, balling. Julius Randle, balling. Brandon Ingram, balling. Right? Right? Malik Beasley, balling. KCP, balling. Right? Zubak, balling. Kuzma, balling. Shout out to JB. Right? We've been right. The media's been wrong. And they've been purposely wrong. And they're still promoting the Lakers. Looking for a trade here, the trade there. So, I'm going to leave you with this. Who's manipulating you? Us or mainstream media? If we're telling the truth, if we've been right all this time across the board, that means we've been telling you the truth. We got a lot to think about, y'all. But I appreciate this comment. This is the Kobe Bryant Film Room. Thank you all once again. And I'll holler.